Just days after new accusations that it had helped Washington spy on its European allies, Denmark's government was still avoiding direct questions about it. I do not comment on uh, our uh, intelligence services in the media. Uh, what I can say is that uh, we, this government and also government before us, uh, reject any systematic uh, spying of any allies. This is, uh, of course, something we are uh, against. Over the weekend, Denmark's public broadcaster claimed America's national security agency eavesdropped on Danish underwater internet cables, accessing text messages, telephone calls, and internet traffic. That included searches, chats, and messaging services used by top European officials. The alleged surveillance taking place from 2012 to 2014. That's around the same time American whistleblower Edward Snowden was making similar claims. If they want to get you, they'll get you in time. Denmark's Social Democrats are in power now and were in power then too. Just two weeks ago, Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen met the U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, in the Dutch capital. Blinken's current boss, U.S. President Joe Biden, was Barack Obama's vice president at the time. The White House this week tried to downplay the charges. In 2014, the United States issued a full review of our approach to overseas surveillance. President Obama issued a presidential directive that changed our approach in significant ways. We will work with our European allies and partners to address any questions through the appropriate national security channels. But the French president said, if confirmed, the spying would be wholly unacceptable. I'm attached to the bonds of trust that unite Europeans and Americans. So in this respect, we have everything to do for our common security, and there's no room for suspicion between us. That is why we expect complete clarity, and we've asked our Danish and American partners to provide all the information on these revelations and on past events. Macron's comments following a virtual bilateral meeting with Germany's Angela Merkel, one of the leaders allegedly targeted. But for now, the chancellor seems satisfied by what she's hearing. I was reassured by the fact that Denmark, the Danish government, the Minister of Defense, has made it very clear what she thinks of this case. And apart from establishing the facts, this is a good starting point to arrive at relations that are truly based in mutual trust. The report also accused the U.S. and Denmark of spying on Sweden and Norway. No doubt all of this will come up when Biden makes his first trip to Europe as president and meets with EU leaders in less than two weeks. Rowie Ruttenberg, CGTN, in Washington.